Oh, God, more of them. Uh, let's see. The Potemkin Gang for yeah. unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulations. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta get one of the solutions to one of the puzzles up. Okay, the Gherkin Brothers for kidnapping, brining, kidnapping victims, and attending sale of human flesh for consumption. Oh, that's disgusting. The abandoned pickle factory. Uh, I think the yeah the game is the next the uh, Pomox game. The what? Uh, whatever they're called. The uh, that one. Oh, you're at right this again. Yep. I gotta go check out my mom. Go ahead. Uh, the humming cave. Oh, let's uh keep going <laughs> to the original Disney. A bar, a real jail, non-fake horse sales, genuine TNT and sandwiches, town hall for an actual town. You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you know something weird. This house uh, has a small back door. Yeah, it's an entire fake town. Never would have guessed. <laughs> it's the fact that it's also named after a fake town also helps. Yeah, this is the back of the jail. It turns out it was just a five feet plywood like a theoretical set. And the robes are holding this thing, don't look very strong. You probably knock it over easily, but you should probably hold off. It's just Raymo. So, you can either instantly kill the group, or you can haul them off to jail. Eh, you jail, fine. Jail, jail for the jail. Genuine teen tea and sandwiches for uh, killing them all. Mm -hmm. You just gotta figure out how to get them to their proper spots. Yeah, these bands look pretty slippery. I think you'll have to figure out a way to trap. No entry. So that guy moves to whatever building you're already at. Okay, and wait, the and she runs from me. She moves to the next corresponding building. What's the matter? I lost my build book. Did you look for the jail? Well, I think we know how to get this. <laughs> yeah, this guy's the easiest one. Move the, uh... The goal becomes getting her and him in the same spot at the same time. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Okay, well, I think I can just tap. Yeah, you can just tap her. She's really scared. <laughs> Wouldn't you be intimidated by this guy chasing after you? Well, your name is Grizzly. Yep. Done. Alright. Oh, good, it's still like the second search thing when you search West of Loathing. Oh god. Why? Oh, not this. What's coming up? <laughs> okay. Oh god. Got the <laughs> back of jail. Turns out just flat forward. Crash. The big building falls over the real build bandits. Alright, gotta go back through the outhouse. Can't go. <laughs> Can't, <laughs> Can't just walk. walk through the opening. Let me just dick throw us towards them. <laughs> yeah, he's knocked out. You can arrest him if you want. Take him to jail. Hey, that's okay. the Tampkin gang. How'd you get him? Push the jail over on him? <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> Do you want to take care of the last gang? Might as well. Okay, to the uh, pickle factory. Uh, holy crap, that's way up there. With a shout, well, more loud hiss, the skeleton leaps deep from under a bush. She's wearing a cavalry sword and has a cavalry sword and is riding a cavalry horse. I'm pretty sure it's the main thing to bring each cavalry from infantry. Only one thing. Oh no, she's quick. Hmm. She's quick, but, uh... We have... Oh. something that's quicker. A quick death. Okay. Please I don't need that. 
god. Ooh. 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 Now that's an upgrade. Uh, you prepare for one of the worst puzzles in the game. Probably. Also, I love, I love the, uh... One sec. The band's tied to try to hole up in the old band picket factory? Woof. That's then done for. What do you mean? The place is haunted to the gills. I know, know about what I was asked about that necromancer. It doesn't seem to be related, but apparently very dangerous. Yikes. H A. Oh my god. Hagen United Pickle Factory. Nope, it's Haunted Pickle Factory. Pickle Factory. Uh... Oh, we need. Wretch of Lies. She was very, 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 very terrible. Pepperoni mold going out of the rain. Alright, what do we do? Okay, you're going to want to go into the building, which is a terrible idea, but you're going to want to go into the building. Well, the electric jolt as soon as your hand doesn't do enough ouch. I know you're late for your shift, Ms. Vlad's gonna be mad. She might literally bite your head off. Well, not late, probably. But get sued up. You punk in and hurriedly put on your bright green coveralls, Ms. Vlad's is it is furious. Late again, you're gonna never stop taking this job for granted. You think you're ever gonna find a place with a nice dormitory and a nice, reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else? With your skills, ha! You're doing three shifts today, Buster. Get to work. We just got possessed slash traveled back through time, didn't we? Uh, basically. Okay. Pickle hopper duty runs you ragged like always. Keeping the hoppers filled to keep a constant flow down the chutes means you're constantly... And near and sprint because you have managed to cuke shoots to keep the levels equal. If you get unable pickle levels, Miss Land knows nobody knows how she knows, but she knows a whack from her cane is the minimum you'll get. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> At the end of the first six hour shift, you get a brief break. You cram a stale cheese sandwich into your mouth while this last glares at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes to the second. Breaks over, second shift, you get over to the salt tank now. Oh god. Managing the salt tank isn't as strenuous as the pickle hoppers, but it's a never ending tension. The brine conservation has to be consistently monitored and kept at a very specific measurement, which means constant adjustments. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself desiccating from the haze of salt that fills the room. I'm drying up. The main thing in this place here is you're probably giving me the salt tank, dude. White lung is a nasty business. <laughs> Cop on your own time and get that. Salinity back to normal. It's supposed to be 976 parts per thousand. How hard is that to remember? 976, idiot. Please Please out of this <laughs> you got another 180 second break before third shift. You spend most of drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water. But you've heard a room they're concerned. You break over against the boiler. <laughs> no, please let me out. Oh. Please let me out of this hell. <laughs> oh, God. Boiler do you see? We can shovel like coal into a furnace, a furnace that runs in a giant tank of boiling vinegar. When it stings near, you try to work your eyes closed, but Miss Vlad screams if you drop any coal on the floor, or if you let the temperature get too low, or too high, or just no particular reason. At least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't smell anything more. Let me out, let me out, let me out. 190 degrees, idiot. Not 189, not 191. What do you think we pay you for? You don't just but really miss your sense of smell or not coughing all the time. Really don't want anything more. Except to die. Let me out. 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 But again, I should finally snap out of the horrible hallucination and possession or whatever the hell it was. Jeez, you can feel the string of vinegar and vapor in your eyes. Enter. Enter. Oh God, I have to do all that, don't I? Yep. Trash smells like gherkins, sweet pickles. Garlic dill pickles, bread and butter pickles, cornichons, like half star pickles that you are, don't even know what those are. Dill pickles. Okay, one at a time. Let's go to the cukes room. Pull. Pull the lever, nothing happens. Seems like machine room must be set up for it. Okay. Okay. So we so, gotta keep the counts. You have to make them all even. God, I can't keep it until it's right. All right, all right. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Yikes. Yeah, no, the ghosts here are also haunted by this goddamn place. Mm. So I gotta keep them all equal. Yeah, solve this puzzle and you can talk to the ghost guy. 
Uh, the simplest way to solve this puzzle, if you want me to give that to you. I can't see this. I, ah! Can I get rid of the text box? Just pull it once and then move. <laughs> oh, almost got it. Once something reaches the top, it won't go any further. Okay. Go you ahead. Want okay. The simplest way to solve this puzzle is to use levers 1 and 2 to set the rightmost bat to 1. To then 1? Like the bottom? Yeah. Get hopper number 3 to 1. Okay. By alternating... It's down as far as it'll go. Oh. Oh, no, number one says high as it will go. Alright. Okay, now number one. Okay. You want number three as low as it can go. It's as low as it'll go. Then you want to work one and two to equalize the first two vats to read 16. 16? Uh, I think you can go and check them if you get close to them. Oh. It's one well, that's seven, close. So I'll uh, put one up on number two, I think. There you go. Go check them. 16, 16, okay. Okay, now go to the rightmost lover, number three. Yeah. Five times, it says. Yep. Now check it. 11, 11, 11, there we go. All right, talk to the guy. Gotta keep going. It's okay, it took care of the cucumbers. Finally done, thank you. Ghost miles of fades away, a few bones to the ground. Bones and cucumbers, rest in peace, poor guy. So you gotta collect the remains of all three of the ghost bandits. I return. What I Welcome back. You oh, missed... I... <laughs> okay. You've been possessed <laughs> and put into a pickle factory and living through the hell that is the puzzles that had to go with day-to-day -day life here. Reed just helped me solve the pickle level puzzle, which is honestly That's pretty a hard. sentence. That's a sentence. Uh, let's see. Part of the hallucination was you had three shifts, all of which were six hours. With and, only a three minute break. And also, it's a place with a company store. <laughs> so you can get an idea of how, this, how bad this labor is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, remember, the uh, tank needs to be 976. That's something that you already yeah. know. But I'm just double, I'm just bringing it up again because we haven't been in this room yet. <laughs> this is probably the easiest room. Yeah, that's yeah. easy. The salt is correct. <laughs> Finally done, thank you. Salt crusted skull, poor bastard. They literally salted I his. I feel really bad for the ghosts here. <laughs> they did not deserve this. Not right, it's not right. Okay. So it's gonna be 191. 190. Yeah. 190, not 189, not 191. 190. I already have a shovel. Alright. So you can either add temperature or release temperature. You might want to check the... Okay, so I need to get it up. Okay. 25. Okay. Wait, so big... Okay, hold up, so... It goes up by 3 degrees each time, so I need... I need a 10, so I need 9 more. One. What the f- I thought I had that equal. It's- It's it. not- Oh god. <laughs> Wait, what, what? It's not precise. Yeah. And that takes it down by 10. Uh oh. 
16. Oh, so close. Uh, maybe remove some heat and then. Oh, wait. Uh, how many did you add to get to 16? It's different each time. Seventeen degrees. Uh, if we can just get it to a, an amount of ten, I can fix it. Yeah. 15. Oh, uh, one. And let's see. Oh god, fucking damn it. What? <laughs> I was just. Oh god. <laughs> what? It added seven instead of five. I was. I know really it's a random amount. If I can get one more six. That's it, we win. Hey. One, two, three. Oh. Turns oh, on God. accident. Fuck! <laughs> Vinegar's Vinegar. Vinegar soaked bones. Alright. Now, uh, the lever crunk. Hold the lever! I got ghost pickles? Yeah. Oh, the pickles oh, and uh, have gold left switch. I'll work for three pickles. I wanted to place one out of business. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and look in the cube room. Those two empty, dusty room, huh? You could have sworn to. Oh. Go ahead and look at all three rooms. I'm sorry, there's a big tank in and a ghost. Why would you make up something like that? Oh, that's not creepy. This is the only way in the game you can get ghost pickles, and you can only do it once. Commune with her spirit. Oh, how much do we have? How much can we yell at this bitch? Six. Okay, we're at fourteen. Uh. Makes you difficult to damage. Okay, hold on. Let me. Armor, muscle, moxie. We need mysticality. Remember, don't need anything from a cow. Yep. Increases your muscle and mysticality by five for the rest of the day. Ooh. That'd be pretty good. Hold up, let me get some my beverages. Spooky resistance, armor. Mysticality. Nope. I have one. Oh, we could do the, uh, Two by three. Okay. Right. Mr. Cowley by six. Ooh, that's cow. That's cow. No, that's cow. We could do the, uh, potted meat. And the, uh, one thing that increased. Oh. Oh, let's go look at our stats real quick. Let's increase our, let's increase our gut and our, uh, mystery Might as well. I mean, we've got... <laughs> so, uh, lock picking. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna upgrade our grit. Let's upgrade our miscatality and our uh, grit. Okay. Let's see if we can eat that potted meat. <laughs> Too full. Uh, let's level up again. Like, we have enough experience to level up. <laughs> we, can, we can burn. Another grit, or yeah, now we'll put two in a mysticality. That'll be enough. What the? Oh. We need, we still need to increase it by like three. <laughs> Fine. Stomach two out of two. Yeah, hold up. All right. Yeah, we'll level up mysticality by three. Fine. Or, I, how much I mean, until we get grit? Grit is the same as mysticality right oh, now. Oh, wait, at next level, three stomach capacity. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure out math. Let's go yell at a ghost lady. Punch her. Try open the can in case we better than you expected. You're reaching the grave, grave with your mind. The pain, the pain. Oh no, you're late for your shift. Miss Glass is gonna be mad. She might literally break your head off. Well, no, oh, no. oh no, get sued. 
Ah, uh, Kit. Yes. This is everything we had to go through. I'm just gonna leave it here for a sec for you to read. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna pause the recording so we can let that kid read. And I'm not doing this again. So, <laughs> Blair, why did I go through that? All that just to do that again? I hate I you, game. We literally <laughs> sat through trying to level up to read that bullshit again. We didn't even get to fight her. Ugh. Alright, I'm increasing my muscle because we have the XP. Yeah. Okay. So, did we capture the ghosts? Yeah, uh, did you start the recording? Yeah. So what, we go back to dirt water? They're yeah, captured? let's go ahead and take them to jail. We have them? Oh, right, the bones. Yeah, uh, so they just suffered through hell, and now we're gonna put them in jail. <laughs> Listen, it'll be a rest from the bullshit they have to do. Give her the pickle finder. What, what in the world? Oh, achievement unlocked. Wanted. Alive. It's the Gherkin brothers, and please don't want to hear about it. It was really weird. I believe you. Here's a reward. As these things are still twitching. Better luck for safety. Thanks, a bottle. Hooray, we have saved. Oh. Uh. Oh, Eve? hey. Good to see you. You know, you really clean out the area. I'm pulling out of Annie's for Does that mean I get to be sheriff? No. I guess you could be a marshal then? Oh, what coincidence? That's my middle name. Thanks again for all your help, Marshall. So my name is now... Grizzly Marshall Cart. Yes. Anytime you say something's your middle name, it will become your middle name. <laughs> Even if you already I have... Thank God we had the ghost jail. No, that will get you in trouble later, if you're not careful with the middle name thing. Howdy, Marshall. How are you? Alright. Jeez. Alright. We're running out of locations. Uh... Well, in this section, for now. Yeah. But, like, uh... I love how far it is that we have to run. <laughs> There's a dusty wooden crate near the trail. Turns out to be half full of old dynamite. No. I just like to state, I am lying on a pile of dynamite. Like... I've got 16 done. <laughs> like, let's go. Save it, save it for a super boss later. <laughs> Just blow him up. Nice little church. I'll wait out here. Why? I tend to get argumentative around church folk, especially when the topic of life after death comes up. Ah, right. The whole undead is real. What the hell is this? Is uh, it not it's oh, stack of cute. Gosh, real life none. It's not like we just met two of them not a little while ago. Uh, we've been through the pickle hell. <laughs> er, yes. I'm <laughs> Sister Tabitha. I'm Grizzly Garner. What's with the cops? Well, with that cow tax and so on, I felt my faith would be best served running a place as a clinic rather than a church. I also sell milk supplies for, like, healing your to-go. Do you need any run, errands run or anything? Funny you should ask. I'm now experimenting with healing properties of a purple grass that grows near here, but I've run out. Would you mind picking some... Girls near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. Nairn Root from Skyrim? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's up? Can I buy some? Supplies. Broken oh! leg pills. The broken leg pills that we were told to get, like... Ages ago. <laughs> I mean, it's only been a day. It hasn't even been a day Ooh, yet, but like... Ooh, we have bottles of landum. Ooh, XP. <laughs> Buy them all, and buy some extra healing kits to use on myself. <laughs> God, I can't believe that. Uh... Alright, that's enough. At least you can say you're more perceptive than you were when you healed an enemy by accident. <sighs> yeah, alright, let's go to the silver platter. Open it with your crowbar. Which is not a great natural habit. Hey, we got Lazo. I don't like his oh. grin. I do not oh, like Oh, yes, this place. Oh. Space Earth. I don't like that. Howdy, what how can I do for you? Uh, do you have a menu? A menu? What are you talking about? Isn't this a walk-up style restaurant? No, I'm not a silver platter. I plate things with silver. Oh, I thought your sign was. Never mind. 
Uh, man, Grant's revealing a full set of silver plated teeth. You need some plate? What are my options? He looks you up and down. I can plate that hat you're wearing. People with silver hats get more done, they say. I just want to change your hat to add one, one to your maximum active points. Maybe not yet, because again, you might change, find a better hat. Plate your weapon. You plate your melee weapon while you're using it, it'll do more damage. Just increase the damage your weapon. Quick melee weapon by three, or even more against creatures of own, but with silver. Same reason as before. I could play your pistol. Same reason. <laughs> uh, maybe something else? He looks through your pack and mouth. Yeah, a turnip. Sounds like an interesting challenge. Yeah, it's a fine looking tongue you got there. I could that, but you sure? An actual tongue? One in my head? Yep. Uh, you know what? You're only gonna get one tongue. Might as well make it silver. Silver tongued bastard. All right, let's do it. Anything uh, for a weird life? <laughs> Go and silver break my tongue. Why not? Open his wires off the game. Process extremely painful. Silver <laughs> tongue. We have to read the for a complete real funny gift to you. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, take a look at silver tongue. Let's see this. Three moxie to put tongue's actual silver well silver plate. You'll never be able to convince people it's real. Silver. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Silver Tongue's always great to get. Just literally tell him, yeah, I want my money back. And he just gives you his money back and doesn't remove the silver from your tongue. Uh, granted, I normally play uh, Snake Oilers, and they get a lot out of Moxie. Mm. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, that's even better for them. <laughs> Tells you the tale of a grave digger who gets kidnapped and taken to a dreamlike arid desert inhabited by ghostly beasts. <laughs> Alright. Tells you a tale of an insomniac who is mysteriously transported to a forgotten plane inhabited by giant scholars. <laughs> a tale about a strange country where intelligent automatons are ruled over by invisible spirits. Why do I feel like I know that game? <laughs> Is that a game? I have no idea. I think they're randomly generated. Over the worldly country where maniacal dogs are ruled over by giant people. That one I don't think is a game. And then I do the butt scoot. Perfect. Tells you a tale of the scoot who gets kidnapped by and taken to a long forgotten country inhabited by giant skeletons. Just like my Japanese anime! <laughs> Alright. I'll get rough. Now let's go fix the guy's legs finally. <laughs> Where's the exit? <laughs> Once you find the door, <laughs> then we'll fix his legs. Yep, here you go. Only 20 HP, geez. Well, thanks. I'm like a new man again, or at least the same man with the new leg. Oh, good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? Waves and skips happily. Well, that was nice. Huh. Let me just skip on my recently broken leg. <laughs> Uh, that's a great dynamite. I've got so much. <laughs> if there's ever okay. a dynamite requirement, it's over. All right, talk to your partner and see what we should do next. I hear soldier and type noise, but no actual voices. They took a vow of silence, hoping to look for warrior monks. This is the wrong genre. <laughs> do next. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're looking to lay, find out late lane, I guess the railroad crew would be able to give a very little interpretation. Makes sense. Uh, well, any other ideas. Oh. Because this is a way to remind us of things that we need to be doing, by the way. Am I forgetting about anything? <laughs> Mind you, the nuns the old mission of the sub-mission catacombs will help retrieve their relics. Oh, did we never give those back? Yeah, I don't think we ever gave them their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we just <laughs> took them on a journey. Oh. Oh, hey! Alex has something to say. Holy goddamn. That's yeah, a little intense. We have to do something about this immediately. Any ideas? Well, the only way you think of is to get rid of all these things, and all that at once would be to poison them somehow. Isn't that very doctorly? What, you ever heard of a vaccination? Look, would you rather fight an army of skeletons all at once or fight a way to slip something into their food supply and nice and quiet? Okay, so how do we... Oh, use the binoculars. Lost Dutch Oven Mine. Oh, god, not... Oh, God. 
<laughs> oh, I had that happen to me when I was in middle school. Well, I'm it was called sorry. a beef stew, but fuck. Fuck you, Ryan Parker. <laughs> I don't care if anybody knows his name. Fuck you, Ryan Parker. Alright, now how do I get to the... Walk through the skeletons. <laughs> Excuse me. And unfortunately, you can get this tarp off this crate. It's, it's decorative. I just can't smell terrible. Dig through it. No, wait, not without some stench resistance? Oh, yeah, uh, we have some nice smelling flowers, remember? Oh, yeah. The easy way to get around all this bullshit. <laughs> Smoking for the anthem? Oh, no, it's in the offhand? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, offhand. Old patrol cap. Pistol. Yeah. Satanic ritual. A note? It's just a note. Cryptic note about ley lines. There's also an evil leather looking bound tome. Ooh. Ignore the shit out of that. Uh, no, wait, no. Go back to the book. Well, go back to the, uh, thing. Read it? Uh, there's now a diary. That's oh. what it's asking you to read. Seems has been written by one of the Necromancer's cultists. He and several others were in reanimating dead soldiers here on the theory that the best undead army would be a literal dead undead army. They just in the plan when they came to raise their officers who decided they weren't going to take orders from a bunch of weirdo civilians. Last entry suggests the author and his cohorts were planning on abandoning their station and reporting back to the Necromancer, but the entry ends abruptly in the middle of a sentence. Oh. Huh. There's no name on these tombstones, foraging. This mass grave is absolutely teeming with skeletal riflemen. I don't seem to be interested in getting out, but you could definitely jump in there and edge it for a fight. There's one wandering in the end of the pit nearest you. Okay. So basically, the cult has got killed. 